All right, Chris, what's up, buddy? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go now. <coughs> All righty. We are now doing 2024 Tops Heritage. Pick your team break number 130 from the website. And a few from eBay. Thank you all for joining. Um, yeah. You know, box three is the hot box. But I don't know. Let's, let's see. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Especially if you're new to the channel, welcome. Bit about us. We've been around for over six years now. We break mostly baseball. We ship all cards from every break. We're very generous with the top loading. We ship as quickly as our little hands will move. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. eBay continues to run their sweepstakes. There's no purchase necessary there. Go to any of our eBay listings. Look in the description at the very top. There's a link. Click on that and follow along with what it says to do, and you can win some free cards. And as always, go and check out our website, chefsportscards.com. All right, let's go over the teams. D-backs, Michael Y., Braves, Bobby S., Orioles, Michael Y., Red Sox, Jacob C., Cubs, Ben A., White Sox, Kevin H., Reds, Adam S., uh, Guardians and Rockies, Kevin H., Tigers, Lance O., Royals, Brian R., Astros, Kevin H., Angels, Bryce T., Dodgers, Jacob C., Brewers, John T., and Twins, Chris F., Marlins, Chris F., Mets, Rich L., Yankees, Andrew P., A's, Rich L., Phillies, Matthew T., Pirates, Bobby S., Cardinals, Craig K. Is that a K? I think it is. My bad handwriting. Uh, Padres and Giants, Robert H., Mariners, Bryce T., Rays and Rangers, Andrew P., and Blue Jays and Nationals, Kevin H. Let's do it. Um, Actually, let me check something. The perfect break. All right. Uh, up on the website, we have the Heritage 131 Half Blaster Case 20 box break. We have 10 teams or 9 or 10 teams left in that one. So, get a chance, head on over and grab a spot in that one. Nolan Ryan for the Angels. Now, here's a, here's a career. 75 to 93. 324 wins, not 292 losses, 3.19 ERA. Amazing. For the Angels. Um, we will be doing Big League Half Blaster Case 127 tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. For those who are in that one. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Gidry's MLB debut. Uh, Mitch Keller, low numbered.
Zach Greinke, Whit Merrifield. Johan Duran was numbered. Uh, Kyle Brandish, white border for the Orioles. Uh, for Michael Y. Rich, how are you, buddy? Thanks for joining us. John, how are you, my friend? Michael? Gang's all here. Lawler. Showing dice. Uh, Kimbrel short print. Should just burn that card. <laughs> oh, look, Jeff McNeil again. Relic and Volpe <clears throat> for Rich. Uh, Mookie Betts, new air, new era performers. <laughs> De La Cruz rookie. Garcia's short print. As always, for all you guys who picked up your spots off our website, I appreciate it. Most of them were, I think, like. There were six or seven left over that we did on eBay, but. Ah, there's Whitey Herzog. All right, who do we got this time? Uh, Houston and the Phillies on a white border. Houston is Kevin and the Phillies is Matthew. So we'll roll a die on that one later. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crow Armstrong rookie. Space Mountain opens. JT Real Muto and Rochio. Low number. And the power rankings. Why, where were they last week? never really a big I don't I, I don't know why but I don't really pay a lot of attention to that like power rankings and stuff like that for some reason in football I do more than baseball I don't know why well now they're trying to do like individual rankings too I've seen those come out where it's like all right it's getting a bit much <laughs> like we know who's good and who's not <laughs> Uh, Rosarain a low number.
Because to me in baseball, because of the length of the season and the ebb and flow and the way it goes, like every team at some point in the power rankings is like one and could be 30 in the same season. They have a rough couple weeks and then get back on top of it. And in football, it's a little more, I, I don't know. I think it kind of explains the team maybe a little bit better. Luciano. I mean, if you're bad, you're bad. I mean, like, the White Sox are always going to be down there and whatever, but. And they're always so skewed, too. Sometimes the teams that uh, Jordan Hicks low numbered that shouldn't be as high as they are, but on paper they're good. So even though they're playing bad, you know what I mean? Fourteenth is that where they're? Hmm, it's not bad. I mean, they definitely should get some love though. But I mean, higher than that, top ten. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Very nice, Henry Davis. Uh, image variation rookie Henry Davis for the Pirates. There you go. Who's got the Pirates? Bobby. Nice one. Image variation rookies are like some of my favorite cards that come out of here. Old Henry D. Here he is. Let me get a clap. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you're right about the deadline trades, although they've become a little more prevalent in... Or I, I'm Actually, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about football. Like, f the football trade deadline that used to have... Like, baseball, it's huge, but in football, you used to have, like, no real... But in the last few years, it's gotten more important. You've seen more bigger, tr you know, more decent trades around it. <clears throat> Jaron Duran. The, the trade deadline in baseball is just fun. It's kind of, you know, it's like a second hot stove, you know, because there's always, oh, who's buying, who's selling, who's this, who's that, you know. AL champs. But like in football, you used to hear like the, the trade deadline go by and you'd hear nothing. Like, oh, the trade deadline was at four o'clock today and nothing happened. <laughs> but in like the last few years, it seems like it's become more, people have used it more. <clears throat> Ah, what do we got for the Brew Crew? Pedro Garcia on the 75 buyback. What do we know? Pedro finished second in battling for AL Rookie of the Year in 73. Look at that. Pedro Modesto Garcia Delphi. I love the buybacks. I have so many freaking buybacks. I, I honestly, I have like half a box full of them from over the years. There's actually some in there that have some value too, like some old world series ones and stuff like that, but I just always throw them in the same box. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh yeah, especially baseball. It's, you know, it, it has such a huge impact in baseball. Well, why pay them if you don't need them or if you can't use them, you know? Caminero rookie. Adley, New Age Performers. And Jake Rogers, low number. Lawler rookie. Mm -hmm. The Betamax.
Lou Bob, and Merrill Kelly short print. Bruhan, Freddie Freeman, Evan Carter, rookie, John Gray, low numbered. Old Sparky. First rookie to win AL MVP award. Do I know why it failed? Um, no. I, I, I mean, I had one. We had one when I was a kid. But then we went to a VCR. I don't know. It might have been the tapes. I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, I remember having it. Uh, Kodai Senga for the Mets, 373 of 575. Um, but no, I'm. Mean, do you? I, I mean, I don't remember a specific thing. I do remember we had one in like 77, 78. But then I remember we got a VCR a couple of years later. And the Betamax just sat there forever. <laughs> For like the next 20 years, it sat on a shelf. Nick Pavetta, then nobody ever used it. I always assumed it was like, well, I guess there was just more available on VHS, you know? To be honest, I mean, I, without, you know, taking the conversation in a, in a direction like this, I, I think that that's what, well, that's what I was just about to say. I think the pornography had a lot to do with it too. I was trying to say it in a polite way. It's funny you put that up. They, they kind of, um, yeah, they, they were shooting, they were able to shoot on VHS. And they all went to VHS, and I think that, yeah, I'm I'm not surprised. What was this? That was the same way with uh, DVD. The same thing happened, where like there was, um, uh, what was it? Laser disc? I forget what it was. There was DVD, and there was something else that came out at the same time, and pornography kind of all went to DVD, and that's why it became so popular. You know, it's just, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Carson Kelly. Blu-ray, yeah. I think it was Blu-ray, yeah. Mookie. Yeah, whichever way the porno industry goes, so goes everything. <laughs> Back in the good old days when you had the the local mom and pop video store with the back room with the with the beaded curtain. <laughs> Who was I just watching? Watched a movie recently, and it was like a like a high school thing. And the kids were fascinated with the adult section. And, and the kid just, like, reached in there and grabbed anything he could get his hands on. <laughs> and he came out with all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, what was that? Oh, no, it was uh, Ted in the Ted TV show, if you guys saw that. And they wanted to rent an adult movie. 
and uh, like they got like a fake ID or whatever, and they just like grabbed the first thing they saw, and it ended up being some nonsense. <laughs> Showing dice. P. Crow Armstrong rookie white border for the Cubs. For Ben. That was funny. Yeah, they had like the beaded curtain. I re <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like having flashbacks to when I was a kid. So I, I grew up in a town called Springfield, Pennsylvania. It's in Delaware County outside of Philadelphia. And um, Springfield's actually a really big town. There's a lot of people there. But they have this like, well, it, it's still there, but it's, it's not prevalent like it was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, we had this like one road in town called Saxer Avenue. And Saxer Avenue was all, you know, there was a grocery store there, there was a drug store there, like one of everything. And the first video store I ever saw was there in like 1979, 1980. And <laughs> there's a Mike Trout low number. <coughs> and they, of course, had the adult room with the beaded curtain and the whole nine yards. And I always remember when people would be coming out of there and everyone would be like whispering, like, oh, you just came out of the adult section. <laughs> like, uh, those poor guys. <laughs> uh, for the Brewers, William Contreras on that clubhouse collection relic. You know, and then you'd hear the guy at the counter, sir, you can only rent three videos at a time. <laughs> the guy's up there with a stack of <laughs> porno. <laughs> And he'll say it real loud so everyone in the store could hear. Sir, we have a, only three tapes allowed at a time. <laughs> Man, you talk about, I, I mean, I know we've talked about this in the past, and especially for you guys who are in, my age group 40s 50s like the way things have changed blade since i was a kid to what things are like now i mean it's it, some of it's for the better some of it's not <laughs> like the fact of how amazing vhs is and shane mcclanahan white border and the fact that you could watch a movie at home when you wanted to, like, it like blew our mind when we were kids. And now you can watch anything you want, anytime you want on your phone, <laughs> you know, like I remember back in the day, movies were expensive back in the eighties. Like if you wanted to own a movie, it was like hundreds of dollars, you know, and now it's, you know, you can't give them away if you wanted to, but it's, it's amazing how, like, we've lived through an amazing time of technology. It really is something else. Jim Northrup for the Orioles on the buyback. Let's read about Jim here. Anything interesting? No. But, like, I, I remember that. Like, being able to watch Star Wars at home when I was a kid was just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. <laughs> and now it's... Now you can watch anything, anytime, anywhere you want. Well, and I've talked about this before, like explaining to my son about that, like I'm 50, right? So my son's in college and like explaining to my son about like our rules of the telephone when I was a kid, because, you know, they, they don't even know what a busy signal is. Like I, the telephone was one constant argument in my house as a kid over who was on the phone. Get off the phone. I'm waiting for a call. The phone, the phone, the phone. That's all I ever heard about this damn phone. Like, because, and I would explain, and my son would be like, well, what about call waiting? We didn't have call waiting. <laughs> you got a busy signal. I was like, have you ever heard of, you know what a busy signal is? No. Like, and, and I know that after we're long dead and gone, you know, there'll be things, you know, there'll be flying cars or whatever, and, and our kids, when they're older, go, oh, you don't know, when I was a kid, <laughs> like, we had to put gas in our cars. <laughs> Yeah, it was sure it was. <clears throat> High school window would. 
<laughs> by condoms. <laughs> I bet that was fun. You could tease the hell out of this guy's. <laughs> yeah, no, ours was the same way. Uh, Cole Calhoun, short print, like it was on the front, and we had the super long cord that was all stretched out and like spun up because my sister would stretch it to the basement, and like. <laughs> And it was your mother's wait for a call. Get off the phone. <laughs> uh, very different world now, that's for sure. And now it's funny because I find myself, if there's something I want to watch, uh, Tom Cosgrove, low number, like something, uh, if I want to watch a movie or something, something pops in my head, I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. I want to watch it. And I go to put it on, and I can't find it on any streaming service. And I'm like... What do you mean? This is crazy that I can't find it. And I think back to when I was a kid, like, uh, be happy with what you have. Find something else to watch. <laughs> ah, for the Angels, Jordan Adams, a rookie auto. For Bryce. There you go, buddy. Jordan Adams, a real one auto. Oh, they were, man. They were crazy sturdy, those those kitchen phones. They were like little like banana phones, you know? <laughs> yeah, there was more than I mean, there were all out brawls in my house over the telephone when I was a kid. Between my sister and I and my parents and and now we take it for and nobody even talks on the phone anymore. No, nah, don't call me. Just text me. <laughs> like nobody wants to talk on a phone anymore if they don't have to. Baez, Rucker. That's why I really, the, the one I'm, the, the time, I mean, our time from like the late 60s, early 70s, late 70s that we were born up until now, like technology wise has been amazing. The people it's really got to be amazing to is people who were born like before World War II. Like, what they've gone and seen. I mean, I know most of them are pretty much gone now, but uh, 265 of 375 of Joey Votto for the Reds uh, for Adam. But like, like my grandfather who died maybe 10, 12 years ago, he was born in 1919. So to be alive from 1919 to like 2010, that is like the craziest set of i mean <laughs> you're going from like horse and buggy to <laughs> I mean, that's, I, that's an amazing amount of technology in that amount of time you know the funny part is now if you have one of those beta maxes around you can probably get a fortune for them some of those things are worth a ton of money that is the is that the image variation. Yep, J Rod image variation for the Mariners. Nice one there, my man Bryce. There you go, buddy. The VD, the VHS tapes, especially man. If you those things are selling for a fortune, like the original VHS tapes from the eighties and stuff. Some of them are selling for like hundreds of thousands of dollars now. It's crazy. Nice one for the Mariners. Congrats. Josiah Gray. Like, you get a hold of, like, an original Star Wars VHS or whatever, man. You're rich. This stuff is nuts. Aaron Judge. Yeah, there's a nice Evan Carter, white border rookie. And getting some good ones going now. Keep it up. Uh, Rangers is Andrew. Here you go, buddy. Uh, Justin Steele, New Age Performers. Uh, 
Uh, Stanton short print. Oh, you got it, Andrew. Nice one, buddy. De La Cruz, Ricky. Uh, Tommy Henry, short print. Morgan Soto then and now. Martin Maldano, low number. And Real Muto white border for the fills. Uh, Matthew. It's in a mosquito. Get out of here. Uh, Coco Montes. And Leotis Taveras, the high, low, short number. <laughs> it's card number 407. It's the only high numbered short print. Simeon and Sweet. Three home runs, 10 RBIs, and 16 total bases for Lynn. Had three homers, knocked in 10 runs for the Red Sox of Detroit. RBIs were the record. I wasn't satisfied with the way I was swinging. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the one. There's so 82 is not a short print, which is of Evaldi, uh, Evan Carter rookie, but 407 is a short print, which is of Leotis Tavares. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, they forgot one, and they had to do something. So They think they're being clever or something. I don't know. <laughs> Miller and Castillo. All right. All right. Box number four. Good luck, everybody. And for the Reds, Tom Hall on the throwback. Let's read about Tom. A fine reliever for the Reds the past three seasons. Tom had 16 games finished in 74 and pitched in the 72 World Series. Good for him. Tom Hall. Mm. 
We like to open cards and learn a little history here at Chef Sports Cards while we can. <laughs> it is called Heritage. We should learn a little something while we're here. All right, good luck, everyone. <clears throat> Chris Bryant, Superdome, and Volpe. Uh, Camposano. And Jordan Adams again. This time numbered 449 of 575 on the rookie. For Bryce, go with your autograph. Uh, New Age performers Yelich and Cassis. Dominic Smith short print. What did you miss? Oh man, you have to rewind it, buddy. You got some hits, my friend. You got some hits. You're gonna want to watch. Hmm, Trent Grisham in his Yankees uniform with a horrible mustache. Nice. Uh, Aaron's 24th MLB All-Star Game appearance. Uh, Aaron Jones, no. Uh, Mickey Moniak short print. Old Whitey Herzog. Reed Marlowe. Mosquito bit me. <clears throat> and Sunny Gray. Ryan's fourth career no-hitter. Uh, 
and Otani short print. Jordan Walker. Low number. It's the first time I've seen his low number. It's weird. Uh, Dean Dunning for Texas White Border. Kevin Carter rookie. Uh, Harold Ramirez short print. Dominguez rookie and Castellanos for the Phils. Uh, for Matthew. All right, last couple packs. Francisco Lindor. Carlos Santana, short print. And Jack Flaherty, white border for Detroit. All righty, folks. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. As always, I couldn't do this without y'all, and I do appreciate it. It is a, a uh, call it 80% website break. We always like to give something away. So, again, we're going to give away a a blaster of big league to someone in the break. We'll sit, we'll ship it sealed. You can do what you like with it. Uh, we do have this one card that we have to a rando on the white border dual card for Houston and Philadelphia. Uh, oh, you got it, John. Thank you, buddy. Again, don't forget tomorrow night, anybody who's in the uh, big league 20 blaster box break, that's tomorrow night at nine o'clock. All right, so um, Houston, which is Kevin, and the Phillies, which is Matthew. So Houston, we one, two, and three. Uh, it's Houston, right? Am I seeing things right? Uh, now I feel like I'm not re looking, seeing it. My, my vision can be totally off. Hold on. Oh, no, there's Justin Morneau. I'm like, wait a second. So it's the Twins. I have, it's the Twins. I was looking at it. I was like, why is that? I'm thinking that's Houston. Anyway. All right, it's just a more note. It's kind of small, and my eyesight's not always the best. 
So Twins and Phillies, let's try that again. So that's Chris F. and Matthew T. Uh, twins will be one, two, and three. Uh, Phillies will be four, five, and six. Let's give her a roll. Keep it on the screen. Don't hit anything. We'll have to roll it again. And it's a four. It's going to the Phillies. All right. Now, we don't have to screw around this time. I have random.org set up. Uh, let's And then uh, we can do a hit recap. So let's rando off this uh, blaster of Big League. Let's bring it over here, make it easy on me. As always, folks, I really appreciate everyone going to the website. The more we use the website, the more I can get away from eBay, get you guys stuff cheaper, and uh, make my life a little less hectic. All right, so we are going to random seven times. Whoever comes out on top is going to get a box of Big League Blast. Here we go. One. Two. Number six, and a lucky number seven. The Orioles. Uh, Michael, Michael Y. Orioles is our winner. There you go, my friend. The Orioles, yay. All right, Michael, we have a... We'll send that out to you, Michael, and with your uh, cards. All right. Uh, let's do a quick hit recap, and we'll get out of here. Let me fix these guys. I'm loving it. All righty. Some of these are already top five and some of them aren't yet, but we'll fix that. No, I'm gonna ship. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna ship it uh, sealed so they can do whatever they like with it. All right. Hit recap for 2024 Tops Heritage. Pick your team break number one thirty. Um, where to start? All right, we got two of the show and dice error cards. Ellie Dominguez, Ellie Dominguez, Dominguez. So two and three there. These are all our low numbered short prints in here. We'll pull out any rookies or good guys and make sure they're taken care of. Uh, white bordered <clears throat> short prints, brandish dunning. Um, the duel, which is going to the Phillies on random, Flaherty. Real Muto, a nice Evan Carter rookie, Pete Crow Armstrong rookie, and Shane McClanahan. We had a Nolan Ryan box topper, which is over there. We also had a couple of buybacks, Pedro Garcia, Jim Northrup, and Tom Hall. Numbered parallels, Kodai Singa to 575, Joey Votto to 375, Jordan Adams rookie to 575. Image variation rookie Henry Davis for the Pirates. Nice one there. And image variation for J-Rod and the Mariners. Another nice one there. Relics of Jeff McNeil, William Contreras, and Nick Castellanos. And we did have a Jordan Adam rookie auto for the Angels. All right, folks. Again, thank you so much for joining me. 
Everybody who's in that big league break, I will see you tomorrow night. Otherwise, we'll get all this out to you in the next few days when we do 8 million sorts and such. And I hope everyone stays safe and healthy out there, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.